Do you know where my camp's at? Do you, do you know where you... Oh, never mind. Help! <laughs> Okay, this guy's not creepy, is he? He's a Chevron station attendant. Hi, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, I left the RV back at camp, and I just ran into town here with the on the motorcycle real quick, and you never know what you're gonna run into. I'm glad I grabbed the camera. We just got up here to the Chevron station. It had a like a big gift shop, and just browsed around there a little bit. And uh, a couple of gas stations here in this little town. I think it's called Valley. Yeah, Valley, Arizona. And it's on Highway 64 on the way to the Grand Canyon. And I'm on the motorcycle. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get brave. And, you know, it's 30 more miles, roughly 30 more miles to the north. And do I just want to really scream the motorcycle, you know, 55, 60. It's all it can do. And then speed limit 65 and, you know, people coming up behind me and, I don't know if I want to take it up there or not. We might, one way or the other, we're going to go to the Grand Canyon here uh, soon. Might wait till we leave camp and go up in the Bounder. I just don't know if I want to do that on the motorcycle. But this, oh, this place here, it's pretty cool because there's a modern day Chevron station right around the corner. And then this uh, has some old Chevron gas pumps like it was the old chevron station before they built a new and it might have been it might be all remodeled because this is now a gift shop too but i just thought it was pretty cool you know cool cars and and uh gas pumps it's very route 66 ish anyway right all right back to the old van van i put the big basket on the back just in case i need to pick something up i got somewhere to carry it don't have any side bags on this bike it got my phone in my new mount for my gps should be already on maps or on maps all right all right we'll gonna take a little ride here now this is gonna really test the uh, gopro out because it's i got this thing wrapped around the handle this uh camera wrapped around the handlebars and everything uh we got some cool old cars let me see if i can readjust this a little bit there, is that better I don't know how this is going to go. An old farm all tractors, some old John Deere's. But here, there's some really cool uh, sculptures over here. Yeah, okay, we got Indians on horseback uh, depicting a scene, I guess, where they're uh, giving these uh, stagecoach riders a hard time. It's like they mean business. That one Indian's got his uh, bow drawn. <laughs> and we got some guns. We got some guns drawn over here. Let's circle around. This old stagecoach is pretty cool. Okay, it's not an authentic uh, stagecoach. It was, yeah, you can tell the first giveaway is those wheels. You know, they're not very round. Okay, somebody just built that for looks. Uh, pretty good job. It's pretty cool though. And look at these stones. Look at the blue and the green stuff in those stones. I've seen some of those uh, cut in half, busted open. Be surprised what's inside of those. Yeah, pretty cool yard art. All right, let's go over here across the street. Yeah, the Flintstones theme park, Yabba Dabba Doo means welcome to you. They're old Fred. And they, but they have 
have the park hall, they have this facade, or it's all fenced in. I guess you probably got to pay to actually go in the park. But, you know, it's all st structured like the old uh, Flintstones houses. <laughs> The restrooms and showers. Yeah, it's old, you know, done in Flintstone style. But you got the park, you gotta pay to pay admission to get in. Oh, and here's a little, I guess what was supposed to be Fred's car. Now it looks more like Barney's car. Alright, we're gonna go for a little ride out the road. I don't know, maybe head back towards camp. Okay, the rest of the way gets so bumpy, it just gets worse the further out we go. And so I need to take this off the handlebars and put it down here in my bag and uh, zipper it up shut tight where it'll be a little bit safer. It's all, yeah, over the handlebars and it'll work its way loose and bad stuff can happen to it. I don't know, I pulled over a bit. Google Maps is so screwed up back on these roads. I think I'm going to go about six miles that way. I think I was only three miles from camp, from the main road to start with. And I know, I don't know how far I've traveled, but I, I think uh, Humphreys Peak is out there in the distance, but still it could be, camp could be a lot, a lot of places. I don't know where I'm at. Uh, the GPS knows where it's at. Eventually, it might send me 10 different ways, but it'll eventually get me there. It might be the long way around three times, but it'll get me there. <laughs> anyway, I'd stop a little bit parched, get a little drink of water. I always bring extra water in the desert. All right, we're going to go. get there now I'm going from this road to this road up here 
I, I don't know. I think I'm I think I've gotten good and lost. I have been this lost a long time. I don't know where I'm at. Oh, there's cows over there. I think them cows are here. I don't know what they're doing. There's probably old water tanks. Yep, I'm, I'm good and lost. Well, I guess the good, uh, the one good thing is you can tell there's tire tracks like this is regularly traveled, so they gotta go somewhere, civilization. <laughs> I'm glad I filled the gas tank up. I'm good for about 200 miles. I think I can get back to camp before I've traveled 200 miles. <laughs> Let's hope so. Oh, this is really bad I've come to a gate that's locked I'm like in in camp it's supposed to be about two miles on the other side of that gate if I have to turn around go the whole way back I don't know where I'm at There's a little generic gate that opens, but I'm still on the wrong side of this long fence. Be able to check this lock. No, that's no, that's good and locked. Oh wait a minute! Oh, oh, it just looks like it's locked. Oh my gosh! Oh, good, I can get out of here. Let's go. Well, hasn't this been quite an adventure? If you was only with me real time, we've been gone a while. Wait a minute, I've gone, somehow I've gone like 30 miles today. Wait, the store was only three miles from camp. I've gone 30 miles, I've gone 30 miles. Help! <laughs> Wait, okay. We're supposed to go that way two miles and turn right for another half a mile and I should be there. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you know where my camp's at? You, you know where you... Oh, never mind. How about you over there? You, you know where my camp's at? That, that place with all those RVs? Uh, never mind. Alright. Hey, there's a Century 21 sign up there. That property over there is for sale. Okay, I think I know where we're at. 
Oh yeah, all right. Oh yeah, I know where we are. We're, we'll be there in a bit. Look, there's RVs over there. I'm, I'm sure those are my friends. I think I've made it back. It's gonna be okay now. Anyway, I'm gonna go back and I haven't been gone all that long. A couple hours maybe. I'll go uh, let Bella out. Guess it down and relax a bit, a little bit.